Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. So the other day I introduced you to my son, DJ Studio Man. He's mostly behind the camera. And we thought it might be cool if you met my best half, Kiki. Um, her name's Kirsten. And she shares my last name, Russell. And we thought we'd give you a little bit of a backstory on how we met. Um, and just a little bit about my wife and the role she plays in Dr. Dex and what she does for me now. Uh, since she's uh, more involved in the office and that kind of thing. So, um, thank you, Kirsten, for doing this. Her real name's Kirsten, but we call her Kiki. That's kind of her adopted name. Um, my brother <clears throat> was, when he was a baby, he couldn't say Kirsten, so Kiki has just stuck. And it's a lot easier to say Kiki than Kirsten because Nobody gets I, Kirsten right. it's always something different. So, I just go with Kiki. So, it works. Hi, I'm Kiki. It works. So these furry little uh, beings here, this is Noah. Um, he's a Pekingese Pomeranian. He's a little over two years old. And this is Sayer, and she's a... Rescue poodle. Rescue teacup? Teacup, yeah. She's four and a half pounds. Yeah, so she's real interesting. Vader, he's kind of a slug. He just sits in the background. He's more of my shop dog. He doesn't... Uh, do a whole lot He's anymore. in love with his dad. Yeah. He's, Nobody he's a, else. He's oh, he loves Calvin too. I take that back. Yeah. He's in love with DJ Studio Man and yeah. Dr. Dex. Me, on the other hand, he doesn't like. <laughs> so I met Kiki um, in Reno, of all places. We, uh, we met one night at a party and um, kind of been together ever since. We, we moved from Reno to the Pacific Northwest. I'm from Tacoma. I was born and raised here. I went to uh, school here, high school. So um, she came with me. She decided. But he gave me an ultimatum. He came to my work and he said, it's me or your job. So I gave them my two weeks notice. And it's been 30 years, over half of our lives yeah. together. And it's been it's, a roller coaster it's, for it's sure. Been a ro it's been fun. It's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. We've had a lot of fun. Um, and we've had a wonderful son. Yeah. So we started, um, I basically, we started when we moved back up here. Uh, My grandfather used to drive 18-wheelers, um, and I called him up and told him that he lived in Vancouver, Washington. So I asked him if he would move us. So we had Jason's big red truck, a U-Haul trailer, and his work truck all on his flatbed. And I had a Pulsar at the time, so I just followed them. And my grandfather got us here to Tacoma, to the loading docks, and we had our last fifty dollars that it took to get our stuff offloaded, Man. and he didn't understand why we were crying because we, I mean, we were stone we had. broke. We had no money. It was it was kind of sad. I mean, we came we came from very frugal means. I know. This Not that we're rich now. He's the coolest dog ever, in my opinion. He's he's definitely. I I hate to play favorites, but Noah's a very special dog. He's very sweet. Very kind natured, so we, we care a lot for him. All of them. All of them, but I have a special spot in my heart for this dog. Anyway, it's not about my dog. It's so about we my got wife. here, and um, Jason wanted to start his own company. So he started throwing around some names, and I came up with Dr. Dex. And, and that's everybody stuff. was laughing, said that is stupid. You Sounds know, like whatever. Dr. Death. Uh, so, but anyways, we liked it, so we, we made it stick. And I'm glad we did, because it's turned out really well for us. <laughs> so then, let's see, so then we started the business. So Kiki started uh, working for a title company, right? I worked, for, uh, got a temp job, and I started as a receptionist at a title company. Um, that's land title with easements and setbacks and anything that has to do with the land and the property and the house. And I worked my way up to an examiner, so I was there for 15 years. And I was about as high as I could possibly go, um, besides becoming a title officer or a manager. I mean, I was like their top dog. Just, I'm not tooting my own horn, it's just, if you ask anybody, they'll tell you. And yeah. then I found out that they were doing some things that I didn't like, and I quit my job. And um, Jason that, said, come yeah. to me, this is yeah. the best thing you could ever do. At that time, I was doing all my own bids, setting all my own appointments. Paying, paying the all the bills late every single month. Um, I was doing everything I had to do, counting, all that crap. It was too much. 
I just want to build this. Besides being a dad and a husband. And yeah, that born was, and um, you know, not for, yeah, so we had Calvin 24 years ago, and, and, you know, I was always out working, 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 and Kiki had her 9 to 5 or 8 to 4, whatever it was, and then she would tend to Calvin, and um, and then I wouldn't see them till sometimes 7, 8, 9 o'clock at night uh, because I'm out bidding after. Or the next morning. That's the way um, this business for me has worked because I've always kept it small. I have, I've never taken on a partner. I've never branched out. I've, I've had up to four employees before. And, and oh, and I work. was his first employee, by the way, for all of you that want to know. Yep, she was out banging nails was with out me, banging nails, moving beams. Moving beams, uh, <laughs> using screw guns. And that's the reason why I quit is because I started getting stress fractures in my wrist from... Um, no, I knew it wasn't um, cut it, out for her. No, it wasn't, but, you know, that's where it came and that's, that's okay. how we started out. So now Kirsten is the lead office. She pays the bills. She sets my appointment. She puts them in the calendar so they show up on my phone. So I go, oh, where am I at tonight? I just look at my phone. If there's ever an issue, I just have to call her. She pays all the bills. She um, fields all the emails. I mean, it's, it's, it's a minimum 30, probably 20 to 30 hour a week job and it can be more um in the heat of the summer so um i'm so grateful for that because i just it's gotten to the point in my life where i just work too much and i don't want to be doing all that stuff and she's very good at it so we complement each other that way um we used to do a lot of camping we used to take our rv and jet skis and all that stuff and and then i decided to get my own television show try to get my own show going and not a lot of that stopped so um we enjoy <clears throat> It's not a lot we do right now. Um, what do we um, like to do? We love to take the vet out. We love to take the Jeep. Um, Jason loves to take his motorcycle out. And other than that, um, we're hanging out and... We're kind of in that chill act zone of life right now where, you know, if I work it's a full... It's not really chill. <laughs> if I work four hours or eight hours, four hours. If I work a full eight hour day, I'm getting pretty tired towards the end of the day. So, um, you know, we hang out, we talk a lot, hang out. I spend some, probably too much time on social media. But it's constantly feeding that Instagram page and keeping that going. I thought it was important that you get to know my wife a little bit and what she's about. Um, what What do you? What is there anything you want to say, babe? Or um... Um, we are happy with where we are in life. We've been married for 25 years. Um, that's over half of our lives. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. And it's awesome. He's my best friend, and I think the three of us together are a force to reckon with. Um, that's DJ Studio Man, Dr. Dex, and me, Kiki. You get the three of us together, and we can conquer anything. Yeah. Like, and we have pretty much have. Like this YouTube game. That's next. For yeah, me. we're working on YouTube now. Subscribe. Click that subscribe button, please. Other than that, I just um, take care of the business. I get to clean the house. Um, all the fun stuff. All the fun stuff, you know. But, you know, I do have to say that um, every Sunday we go grocery shopping together. Which means a lot to me because I really hate it. <laughs> so and we do breakfast as well. And we do breakfast every Sunday. We are all together. We're we're all close. I'm surprised his dog's still sitting up. I know there. he's hot. It's crazy. And then um, we have this little one. So one thing that my wife is into is fashion, and I also a uh, fun fact have purchased over half of her clothes because I, I would like, say three quarters. I like to dress her and when we go to these like if we take our RV somewhere, like we live in Cannon Beach, Oregon, it's like a five hour trip. Uh, there's some great shops. So we'll go in and I'll pick out a few things that I like. And it's funny because I know her you know, guys, here's a tip. Pick her out a couple outfits, man. Just figure try out it. figure out her style. And it's cool because like when I go in because if if I pull something that she doesn't like straight up, boom, I don't like that. Okay, that goes back on the rack. But then there's times where I'll pull something and go, hey, this is really cute. And she'll look at it and go, yeah, I like that. Okay, we'll put that on the tri-wrap And the tri -rack it's funny, too, that the owners are people um, know Jason so well at these little boutiques that we shop at. He gets to go in the back room and yeah, I pick out. <laughs> I get special privileges. You get special because people yeah. don't, can't believe that a man's shopping for Sometimes they'll let me in and let me like pre-order, pre-shop uh, different styles before they put them out on the rack. Um, just because they know I'm good for the the purchase and that I'm who I'm buying it for. What else? You used to, you like to read? You used to read? You like used to knit? You what else? Mm, okay. Well, just a little bit of background on me. Um, 
lately, I'll say the past year, I've been going to a naturopath and going a different route um, medical-wise, and it has definitely, definitely worked out for me. I'm not saying it'll work out for everybody, but I believe that the person that I'm seeing believes in me and knows me very well. And if you have a chance to go see somebody, I would, because they think of all different ways. They're not in a box. They think outside the box, and I find that to be so invigorating with all the uh, prescription prices going up and everything. We're finding different routes, and there's different things that you can use that are all natural that don't give you the nasty side effects. And for the past two years, that has what's gotten me healthy. And now I have Jason um, getting in tune with his body too. She's the top saw and I'm the compound slide miter blade. Oh, and I got a new tattoo. So if you figure that out, let us know. Yeah, she's got a few. So. I got 12, but you'd never well, know it. Yeah, you wouldn't know it. All right, guys. Well, hey, uh, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. I'm glad you got a chance to get to know my wife a little bit better. Uh, you can always leave a comment below and, and it'll get to her. Uh, I also want to ask you to subscribe to our channel. If subscribe! You if you like what you saw, please click the subscribe button. And if you want to uh, be notified when we're putting out new content, also click that bell icon to let you know when uh, we're putting out new videos. We're putting out five a week right now, one a day. So uh, there's a lot of good stuff out there and you're probably missing out on some of it. So do that rewind and go back and check it out. All right, well, that's it for well, us nice today. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you very much, and uh, have a great day.